Today, I have something special to show you. It's an automatic printing system for the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. We call it the Farm Loop Stage 1. We've talked about it in several videos already and it's the main reason I haven't done a farm tour of our printing facility yet. But today, we can finally show it to you. At least Stage 1. And we'll do more than just show it. We want you to use it to boost your farm's profitability and reduce the cost of your printed products. By the end of this video, you should have everything you need to replicate the system. There will be three chapters. Why we do it, how we do it and how you can do it. If you are new here, I'm Jan Jan. I'm a world record winning engineer who quit his job to pursue 3D printing full time. We run the 3D print farm with currently 30 printers and we made 200,000 revenue last year alone. while aiming to double it this year. And before further ado, let's get into the automatic printing system. Switzerland is an expensive place, even more so if your customers and competitors are abroad. Therefore, we have to be efficient to stay competitive. And our automatic printing system is the main reason we can produce here. Let's look at this part for example. It's a magnetic holder for a coffee shaker. If we input the amount of filament use and printing time, we arrive at a production cost of 570. Of course, you wouldn't just print one on a plate. If we fill a whole plate of the X1 carbon, we can fit eight and the cost is dramatically reduced to $2. The reason is that the labor time to slice the SDL, to send it to the printer and to remove the finished print is divided by eight. But what if we use the A1 Mini and the automatic printing system? We can produce, for example, 60 of them from one three kilogram spool. After adjusting for the printer, electricity and depreciation, the cost to produce is only $1.17. That's another massive drop. It's pretty much half the cost compared to filling a plate of the X1 carbon. And you know what? You also get five days of peace of mind. While you enjoy your weekend honing your CID skills, your printers are doing the heavy lifting. Less downtime, more parts. By now it should be obvious why automatic systems are great. But how does the system work? The principle for stage one is simple. We want the printer to handle the detachment using the print head. After the part is printed, we need to wait until the bed cools down and then use its two head to lift the part from the plate and clear the print area. The lifting part is very important. Many automatic systems out there try to push the part down with the stock tool head, which can cause damage to the printer. That's why we are using the lifting motion. To make the lifting work, we had to focus on two different key elements, hardware and software. On the hardware side, we designed two parts. The first one is the tilted base. By angling the printer, the detached parts can safely fall into our boxes without getting stuck. You can print the base in parts and assemble them together, either on A1 Mini itself or its bigger brothers. The second part that needs to be printed is the scraper. In the past, we printed the whole scraper out of PETG. In some cases, we found scratch marks on the ejected part. That's why we added a protective TPU piece. It is super glued onto the scraper and the problem with the scratching was solved. To mount the scraper on the tool head is easy. After removing the front cover, the scraper can be screwed onto the print head of the A1 Mini using the stock screws on the left side. Hardware alone does not work without its fitting software. But before we go into that, I will upload these parts onto MakerWorld and make them free for you to access. If you give me a like now. Just kidding, it's already there. But I would still appreciate a like for the time we put to engineer the system. On to the software part of the farm loop system. Here we had to get very creative. First of all, we had to get rid of the purge line. Otherwise, this line would become a mess after 60 prints. So instead of purging onto the plate, it just purges now into the purge sling. And after the part is printed, there are two options. Either wait until the specific plate temperatures reach or until a specific time has passed. The temperature method works best. But in case you have a hot environment or cannot wait so long, you can also set a timer. Then we programmed the end G-code to perform the lifting at a specific location. This way we know where to place the part. After the lifting routine, it will perform a clearing routine. All these modifications are done within the printer configuration file, which can be simply imported into Bamboo Studio. So now we can just slice it and let the printer print until the spool runs out, right? Not that fast. We need to loop multiple parts first. But how do we do that in Bamboo's proprietary system? Here's the trick. After saving the 3MF file, we unzip the archive, find the G-code and copy paste the G-code multiple times. After saving it, Bamboo Studio magically thinks that this part needs five days to print. Instead, it prints 60 of them in one go. You can even send it through the cloud. And of course, you can also cure different parts with this method. 
I know, there are some steps involved. That's why we are currently developing an application to make these steps easier for you. But how well does it actually work? We have used this system already for more than a year and have produced thousands of parts. But will it work with every part? No. Remember, this is stage 1. And with stage 1, there are limitations. Big parts with high surface areas will not work well. That's why when we design our products, we either have to chamfer the bottom or to purposely reduce the surface area. And for all other parts, there is stage 2, which will take care of parts that cannot be detached reliably with stage 1. Before I show you a sneak peek of stage 2 in action, let me tell you how to apply stage 1 to your printer first. The hardware can be found on Maker World. On the software side, you can try to modify your start and end G-code like the free template in the description below. But this file is just an example. It's not updated with the newest firmware and Bamboo Studio versions. But the always up-to-date configuration files for detachment and the manual can be found on our school community. We just moved from Patreon to school in order to provide you with all the skills and tools needed to start and grow your 3D printing business. To name a few, there's a CAD challenge to learn how to design parts, there's a pricing tool that I showed before, and automatic printing and maintenance codes. Now here's the sneak peek of stage 2. With this system we can detach almost anything. Ah, and we will try to apply it to the bigger Bamboo Labs as well. It's now in testing phase and if you subscribe to our channel you will not miss it. Until then, happy printing 3D Farmers!